Hey, welcome folks. I'm John Melandred, and I did a, a video about three years ago on how to recondition a 12-volt battery. And I've had a lot of comments on it, uh, good and bad, mind you. And so I thought, you know, yeah, you're right, I never completed the second video. And so I'm going to talk right now about some of the emails I've received and some of the myths about how to recondition a battery. I wish I actually wouldn't have said recondition a battery because you're basically prolonging the life of a battery, not actually reconditioning it. There is no possible way of making an old battery brand new. Anything you hear out there from Easy Battery or Magic Battery or any of these battery guides or books, I would have to say, Bull, don't buy it, don't believe it. But, hey, the proof is in the pudding, right? If you can see, this is the exact same interstate battery that was on the show three years ago. Yes, it's a little more worn from the sun. And the reason is, is because after the video and after I charged it up, I set it on the ground, and it's been sitting there for three years. So let's go into some of the emails. Some of the emails were, for instance... Never put a battery on the ground or on the concrete. Well, 20 or 30 years ago, are batteries correct? But the batteries today with the insulators and plastic don't do that, obviously. Another thing is uh, this one guy said, well, you should drain your battery 100% and then recharge it. Don't ever do that, folks. You want your battery at about 50% strength. If you take a brand new battery and you charge it down to nothing and then put it on the charger and recharge it back up, that battery's toast. It will never be the same. I don't care if it's brand new. Another one said, why don't you put uh, baking uh, soda inside of it? That way it'll clean it. Don't ever do that. You put baking soda in here, baking soda will neutralize the acid. You will never get 100% of the baking soda out. It will form on the bottom and be trapped. Don't ever do that. Don't ever listen to that guy. So there's things that, that didn't make sense and I had to clarify. Uh, I want to apologize, by the way. I'm used to being on a well. And so I assume everybody's on a well and, and that's not true. So... My water is totally different than your water. Never use city water. There's too many chemicals in it. You want to use distilled water. Never put Epsom salt in your battery unless you have diluted it in water and that it's totally dissolved. Because you don't want it staying at the bottom. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Another one, uh, charge it at a high rate. Uh, don't, don't, don't do that either. You want to charge your battery slowly. And I'll explain. See, there's, there's two different types of battery chargers. There's one that will sit there and charge your battery with low amps, good voltage. Then it'll go and equalize your battery. It actually has more amps. Then it'll go to a float charge, which maintains it. You also have the battery chargers that desolivate it. And that's the problem with the batteries going bad. Uh, one thing I'll show you, we're going to start from scratch in essence other than pouring the Epsom salt in because that was done three years ago. Uh, don't leave the Epsom salt in, but I'll explain that later. Uh, there's a reason for it. You can or can't, depending on your budget. And don't think that this is a, a permanent fix or that you can do it all the time uh, because you can't. This is a one-time thing. To prolong you so that you can go and buy a new one. And not everybody can afford $80, so this helps prolong it. If you uh, would have maintained your battery actually in the beginning, you could have made it last longer. But the new batteries today are only good for five years. It's not like the batteries 20 or 30 years ago. They were made with good lead. My dad used to make weights out of them all the time, fishing weights. And so you could do this repeatedly until the plates wore down. The batteries today, the plates are so thin 
that it's it's not possible. You can do this probably once before those plates are going to wear out. They don't make batteries to last a lifetime. 20 years ago, maybe, 30, but not today. Hence, manufacturers, right? <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is back when I first did the video, this battery was at like 10 and a half volts. And after sitting and aging for three years on the ground, mind you, what do we got now? We got 9.2 volts. So I guess the theory about leaving it sit on the ground for any length of time is kind of false. I think any brand new battery that you sit on the shelf for three years is going to degrade on its voltage. And it's that slight. Now that's still good voltage. And so it's still possible to, to keep this battery going. Another thing, uh, some people asked, what about the electrolytes? Well, that's what the Epsom salts are. That's what they're for. When you put uh, Epsom salt inside this battery, you cr it will create those electrolytes. It actually ups the amperage of this battery as well. And that's what you want to somewhat clean it and desolvate it. Also, uh, a gentleman uh, sent me a thing and said, well, I can't get Epsom salt in my country. And so use a caustic soda. A caustic soda will work just as well if you don't have the Epsom salt. And no, never put it in dry. You always want it in a liquid form. And so, it's kind of start from scratch. When you first discover that your battery is going dead all the time and it can't hold a charge, I want you to take the caps off. Go ahead and turn your meter on. And it's a $9 meter. Uh, a lady wrote and said, well, that costs money to buy a meter and a battery charger, and I'm a woman. Well, what's a woman have to do with it? Women are more than capable of doing the job of a man than uh, as a man. It's $9 at Walmart. It's $9 at Walmart, and a battery charger, a cheap battery charger, you can pick up. It, it, a smart battery charger at Walmart's like, what, 20 bucks? Everybody should have one. So... What I want you to do is I want you to test your cells to see, are you feeding a dead dog or a sick dog? So just put the negative on it, stick your electrode inside the fluid, and then look at your meter. Okay, there's voltage in there. It's not a broken voltage. Now the next cell, the next cell should be even higher. Okay, the cell is good. Next cell should be even higher. Yep, hey, I don't have a broken cell yet. The next cell. Yeah, there you go. The next cell. See how the voltage keeps increasing? Okay, I have no broken cells. There's not enough desolivating or solivation inside the battery that it has either broken one of my cells or it's creating a short on the bottom. That isn't happening and you can certainly tell by the voltage. It's real simple. Just one by one by one. So these cells are fine. The battery is at a little over nine, so that's fine. Because the Epsom salt has been sitting in here <laughs> after a charge for three years, it's probably pretty clean. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump out this Epsom salt now. And then I'm going to replenish it with fresh acid. Now, like I said before, if, if you can't afford to do this, uh, the one thing you can afford yet say is some Epsom salt. Okay? Do it like my very first video. Put it on the charger and let it charge up very slowly. And it could take time. I mean, it could take a day, it could take three days, but let it charge up. Once it's charged, put it in your car. If, if that's all the money you have, put it in your car. But please, don't rely on it. Try to go as little as possible 
until one of two things. You can buy a new battery or you can buy acid. Let's say you can buy acid, then you put the acid in. It has the electrolytes, the specific gravity, everything in there. Recharge the battery. Now this could get you by for an additional one to three years. If the battery ever goes dead again, don't don't bother. You know, buy a new one. <laughs> and I'm saying eighty dollars because that's approximately like my truck batteries. These are probably even cheaper, but hey, everybody's on a budget. If you can prolong something to get you by, then that's what it is. You're not really reconditioning this back to brand new. I'm gonna take and dump this out, put in fresh battery acid, and I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. What I did is I put fresh acid back in the battery, put it on the charger, it hit full charge, real, real slow uh, at three amps, and now it's going into the second phase where it's hitting it with a lot of juice, make sure it's all equalized, and then it'll go into a flow charge and maintain it. I think I've proved my point as far as some of the myths when it comes to a battery. I think I've proved my point as far as, yes, this does work. For those of you that still disbelieve, and I know there's those people are out there, even though you see it, I mean, the same battery after three years. Same interstate, just a little bit more faded, sun bleached. You're still not going to believe. There's always those few out there that are not going to believe. I'm not making any money at this. I don't sell battery books. I don't sell battery crap. So for those of you that still don't believe, I just have a one word. Suck it. No offense, that's just me. For those of you that do understand, I hope you go to my first video. Watch that before you watch this video, because this is the complete end of the story. I want you to visit uh, survival-warehouse.com, one of my sponsors. Type in, at the end of the checkout, type in prepper. No, wait a minute. Type in podcast, and he'll throw you a 10% discount. I make no money on this. You can also go to sunoven.com backslash podcast. He'll do the same thing. Once again, I make no money at that. Uh, for the rest of you, please subscribe to my channel. Look me up online, John Melandred, M-I-L-A-N-D-R-E-D. Or, hey, uh, go to my Facebook or anything else. I'll see you on the next video. I'm going to remake some of these, especially without the music. But for the last part, I want to show you something. Just for those doubters, okay? I've taken it off the, the charger. Same battery. We're now showing 12.23. A full battery actually should be more at a little over 13 volts. Like I said, this isn't done, but it's over 12 volts. One thing about Americans, they like to round numbers off. It should be at about 12.2 or 13.2, right around there, even though we call it a 12 volt battery. It's actually more than a 12 volt battery. U.S. You gotta love them, right? Same thing with a two by four. Two by four is not two by four inch. Once again, we round things off. I think this has proved the point. The meter doesn't lie. The battery doesn't lie. What else can I say? I'll see you on in the next show. Just one more point, a uh, real quick point. If you're gonna spam me. Do not copy my videos. I've had 15 different uh, takedown notices for people uploading this video, claiming it to be theirs, using my picture or information. Don't do it. 
it will be taken down immediately and do not spam my channel if you put in anything to do with go look at Google about some battery bull or easy battery or one of these low life craps it will be taken down and you will be reported as spam just had to point that out I do not make money at this I do it for you and you alone so the rest of you guys can go away see you on the next video